Hello, my name is Matt. And my name's Jordan. And welcome to a video on an upcoming map that we've been working on called Payload. Um, basically, TF2. yeah, pretty much. It's effectively the TF2 game type. It's slightly different though. Um, there's one payload, and rather than there being one attacking team and one defending team, you're both trying to push it along the line in opposite directions um, to the enemy base. So we're in the start room here, so you know we just get it started. So I'll join the red team. Join the red team. Yeah. Um, so there isn't a limit on how many players can join by the by the look of it. No, um, there's not. No. Yeah, the, in the redstone turn. So there's three classes. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, pick the swordsman class. Well, um, just go check the others while the mission's beginning. Oh yeah, okay. Well, so for anyone who knows TF2, it references mission begins in on the side, which yeah, is yeah. If you look there. So if we change class, we go back here. If you die, you instantly respawn as the class that you currently are. So you don't have to worry about picking your class to get and rushing to get back into the game after you're dead. So that, that's quite handy. So and you can it's only if you have the time that you change class. Because let's say they're just about to win, you have to sprint back out. You you have the time to. Yeah. So we'll come down here now. You can see the track that you have to push it along. The map's identical on both sides of the map. It's completely symmetric. Um, but obviously you can tell they're different colours and stuff. So here's the minecart in the middle. It's invulnerable. You can't destroy it, which is quite cool. Can't shoot with arrows either. Yeah, you can't, it's, yeah, you can't destroy it. It's... yeah. Ciao. Fun times. Imagine if it blew up then. I know, that, that'd have been awkward, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> so yeah, and then the game, obviously, is just to push it to the end. It's very easy, because, you know, one it's player one versus, versus zero. One versus but zero. There is there is a, a swordsman class, which is faster, uh, weaker... Well, not weaker. Well, no, it's like... slightly stronger. The weakest ca um, class is the archer, because... You... In terms of defence. Yeah, because you just have ten defense. hearts, yeah. In fact, we show. In fact, I'll yeah, yeah, I think that was a good idea. Like, so I'll just, just kill myself. There we go. So, no. Well, no, as you can see, you, right. you respawn as your class. So I'm a sword. I'm not a swordsman. I'm a bow. I'm an archer. There we go. Um, so yeah, ranged and weak. You saw the swordsman before. You have a sword, just a wooden sword, and you've got speed one, and you've got a few extra hearts as well. So you're a little bit stronger than a. If you do slash kill again, just to show that it does work on all classes. Ah, yeah. So if you do slash kill, you end up back in here, and it does respawn you as the class that you were. That'd be awkward if it didn't as well. <laughs> okay, and then heavy. Um, so you move slowly, you've got slowness too, but you've got a lot of hearts. The, a hell load of hearts. Yeah, the classes are sort of similar to Ghostbusters because they seem to be like the standard classes, aren't they? You've got melee ranged and then well, just heavy armour. For a game like this, there's not really much diversity that you can do that would be like, what's the point in that kind of class? Yeah. So like someone who can jump really high, for example, like what would be the point on this? Yeah, you've, exactly. You've, yeah. Got, you've got the ranged champion champion i've been playing too much league Please. the reigns character who has really really strong attack but it's hard to hit and they're really weak the swordsman's speedier so obviously you've got to defend the swordsman somehow with the other classes the tank would be the one who just bruises all the damage and yeah. defense while everyone else is doing the attacking so i think it's pretty fair balance with the classes yeah i mean the classes are the same on both sides so if you've got, if there is a class that's stupidly broken, both classes have both um, sides have access to it. But yeah, <laughs> it's we've not really we're not released the map just yet. We're going to release it in like maybe a week or so after we've tested it a bit more, make sure there's no problems. But we thought now would be a good time to show it since it's pretty much near completion. And we basically just need to test it and then ho like make a sort of trailer on it to. Yeah, so um, I'm just gonna whack that in there. So. It, yeah. it could be up to a week, but who knows on the yeah. actual day. And then also as well, the map's resettable. You can play again. And whatnot. That's all Straight gone. afterwards. Yeah. So just to show that that's, that works. And also, you have to jump into these pools. Say yes. Well, yeah, just like in Ghostbusters, that's how you pick your classes. If you're in one of the things that we got back from um, the the time that everyone else played it, all the YouTubers played Ghostbusters, they were like, we had to like stand there for ten minutes to decide how the hell the game started. <laughs> yeah. It's great. They thought it broke. It was broken until someone realised that you just had to jump in. Yeah. So we've tried to make that a little bit more obvious, like with, you know. You have five seconds to choose your teams, and it says on the times as well to jump in it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There that's payload, and also uh, this is. Uh, I don't know if we want to like fully announce what's going on with the server, but people know about the server already, Matt. Yeah. So um, this is going to be like a server game. It's going to be exclusive to our server, and we're also going to exclusive gonna, as well. We're also going to build more maps for it as well for the server. So, so got loads to come. F look forward to. Uh, this is going to be part of. Maybe five or six exclusive mini games to the Podcrush server. Yeah, there you go. That, see, that's there you go. that's what I was on about before. There is that. There's a weird visual bug when it goes down the ramps or something. See how it does that? It's a bit weird. Oh, yeah. 
So I'll get, get that fixed and yeah, just things like that. It still works, but yeah, not not to worry. Yeah. But yeah, um, our server is gonna go live by probably the end of December because Skip's got loads more to sort out. So look forward to it. It'll be completely plug-inerized, as yeah. uh, some people say. So yeah, uh, there's loads to look forward to in terms of Christmas with Podcrash. But yay Christmas! This is our yay Christmas. Santa! Yay! <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, and, and we'll eh, and eh. and we'll see you in the next video. Eh.